Hello, I'm Paul Beckwith. The purpose of this video is to save people's lives. There's a lot of people dying needlessly from uh, heat. Um, and it's a combination of very high heat and very high humidity that um, the, the human body just can't tolerate. So I'm gonna go through and demonstrate how to use uh, three very, very simple techniques to determine wet bulb temperature. Um, and if wet bulb temperature exceeds about 31 or 32 degrees Celsius, then you are in uh, severe risk of uh, getting heat exhaustion, leading to heat stroke and, and even death after six to eight hours under those sort of conditions. Uh, the basic premise is that the human body temperature, the core body temperature is 37 Celsius or 98.6 Fahrenheit. Skin is a little bit colder couple degrees cooler, maybe um, 35 degrees Celsius, um, in, and instead of 37, it's a little bit cooler than the core body temperature. So the idea is when the humidity is 100% at 35 degrees Celsius, your body cannot throw off heat by sweating, so your core body temperature rises, and if you're in those conditions, you get heat exhaustion, heat stroke, and, and it can lead to death in about six hours in the shade outside. So I'm going to tell you how you can avoid that uh, by measuring wet bulb temperature. Um, the actual human body isn't theoretical, so it's actually more like 31 or 32 degrees Celsius when people get into severe problems with uh, heat. That's 100% humidity at 31 or 32 Celsius. So basically I'd like to give a shout out first to Tom Riley who wrote this book. Tom Riley retired from NASA started coaching young people in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math, and uh, has written, this is his third of um, three, this is his third fiction book uh, called Dark Heat. Now, Tom sent me the instrumentation. Um, he donated the instrumentation that I'm gonna show you um, in this video, so I wanna give a shout out to him for having this idea for a video. Um, while I'm on the topic of books, um, I got a copy of this book called Cop Out, How Governments Have Failed the People on Climate. Um, it's by Nick Breeze. It's an insider's view of climate change conferences from Paris to Dubai. I highly recommend this book. It's a very good read. And I just wanted to point out that I'm in this book a lot. So if you look just above my fingers here, um, I mentioned many, many times in this book, and I'll do a separate video to do a book review on, on, on this book. There's a lot of funny stories. Nick is uh, a, a great writer, so I highly recommend this book. Another book I'm reading is How Infrastructure Works Inside the Systems That Shape Our World, because you know, as climate um, accelerates, as we get more and more extreme weather events, um, then infrastructure is being severely damaged and doesn't work properly. So I'll talk about this uh, book, probably in a book review video when I'm finished. And I always like to have a, non a fiction and a nonfiction on the go. So the fiction, I highly recommend this author, Robert Harris. I just finished his book um, called V2. Um, and uh, this is, uh, you know, very good uh, fiction, very good yarn. Uh, it's historical fiction. Okay, so let's go to the devices that we can use. So here's one of the devices. It's small and compact and portable. It's um, basically, it's by the company Protmex, and it's called the HT607 Temperature Humidity Meter. The links to all of these devices um, is going to be in the description of the video that I'm, I'm using. Okay, so I'll turn the thing on. And uh, here's, so it basically it's telling me, I'm sitting out in my backyard, it's a nice hot summer day. It's 29.2 degrees Celsius with 50.6% humidity. And the dew point is 17.9 uh, Celsius. And I can flip it here and it tells me that the wet bulb temperature at the bottom there is 21.8. Um, degrees Celsius. So if you compare 21.8 Celsius for the wet bulb and 18 for the dew point, you know, the wet bulb temperature is when the humidity goes to 100%. Um, and then when the air becomes super saturated, 
the um, water vapor starts coming out of the air on surfaces, which is the dew point, which is slightly lower than the wet bulb temperature. So what this is telling me is, you know, if you take the present conditions, which are 29.3 Celsius and 50.5%, and you lower the temperature and lower the temperature, um, then the air, you know, the water vapor is still in the air and we're get, we're, it's getting closer to saturation. So at 21.8, if we lowered the temperature from 29.3 to 21.8, we'd have 100% humidity and it would be very um, uncomfortable, but it's still far in the safe zone. I said, this, if this is 100% humidity and this was 31 or 32, then your health is severely, you're at great risk of, of, of having uh, heat, heat, heat exhaustion leading to heat stroke and perhaps death. So, it's, so a device like this can, can save your life. life. And uh, I can convert to between Celsius and Fahrenheit. So for our American audience, it's 84.9 with 50.6% humidity. And the, um, the, the wet bulb is 71.4 and the dew, dew point is 64.5. Okay, so that's how this device works. This device retails for about $40 uh, Canadian, I believe. Okay, so that's one device um, that can be very, very handy um, and can save lives. Um, now, the next device is sort of the Cadillac of, of devices. So let, let me um, open it up and show you what this is. This is another device, which is a bit more sophisticated than the last one. It's uh, by General. It's called the Digital Psychrometer, model WBGT8778. Okay, so it's got sensors here and, and a cover here to protect it, and it's got a brass bulb that's painted black, okay, for the measurements. So we turn, turn it on, and um, it's telling me the battery's low, but I know that's not the case. So let me just uh, see if I can fiddle with it and get that beeping to stop. Uh, I'm not sure why it's telling me the battery is low. I put new batteries in. It's not going to cooperate. Okay, so it's got wet bulb globe temperature, which is a temperature up here. It's got the temperature, 28.7 Celsius. Um, it's got the, the, uh, the globe temperature, slightly higher because it's black. It's absorbing some sunlight heating up, 29.1 Celsius. It's 48.4% humidity and it's 23.1 23 degrees is the wet bulb uh, temperature um, and this device could actually interface uh, through an rs-232 port with a computer and you can take real-time measurements this retails for about 165 dollars uh, canadian um, okay so it's got uh, it's got uh, these features it's got similar results to the previous device okay so uh sorry for the beeping okay now what if you don't have that type of cash uh well you can use a simple thermometer so here's a simple thermometer retails at the hardware store for about about uh, five bucks or so um and uh tom wasn't able to send this to me i just went to my local hardware store and purchased a couple of these because you know, it's got the liquids or something. I guess maybe it's too fragile to ship. I don't know. So the temperature um, tells me that it's uh, 80, uh, it's about 83 degrees or about uh, 28 um, degrees Celsius. 80, about 83 Fahrenheit, 23 Celsius. Um, it's just a basic uh, thermometer. Now, what you do is if I, if I actually take it here and put it on this device and start swinging it like crazy okay so start swinging it right then um, I can do this for a minute or so and will that change the temperature you know I'm moving it through air be, there might be some slight cooling effect due to the air right but basically it's going to record um, it's going to record the same temperature okay so it's just that's it's just a normal ambient temperature now I've take I've done a modification to the thermometer this is an identical thermometer reading the same thing what I've done is I've put some um, paper towel covered the um, 
covered the, uh, the, the little bulb at the bottom. And what I've got is I've got a bottle of water here. So first of all, I'm going to hydrate because I don't want to overheat. Next, I'm going to take some water and I'm going to pour it on the paper towel. Okay, now this water has been sitting outside for a while. It should be close to room temperature. Um, but let's have a look at what we see. So I've wet the, so it's basically a wet bulb. This is where the term wet bulb comes from. And you can see the temperature. It's still registering about 82 Fahrenheit or about 27 and a half uh, Celsius. And it shouldn't change as long as the water is at room temperature, right? Okay, now here's where the magic comes in. What I do is I start swinging this thing for one minute. So I'm going to do it for about a minute. Okay, so I'm swinging it. Now what's happening is, is that thermometer now, that paper towel is going through the air. And because I'm swinging it, I'm increasing the rate of evaporation significantly. So if I do this for a minute or so, you'll see uh, what happens. Newton's getting restless. He needs some dog cookies, but he'll have to wait till I'm finished the video. Okay, so we've gone for about 30 seconds and we'll keep going. And what do you think the temperature will read? Well, because of the evaporation of the water, as I'm swinging this rapidly through the air, the water evaporates, taking heat away. That requires heat, so it takes heat away from the bulb. So the temperature, we expect the temperature to drop. Um, a minute should be sufficient, but I'll go a bit longer. Um, you know, a minute or a couple of minutes. You know, I'm not sure how, I mean, these, temp these, these thermometers respond pretty quickly, but it might not be completely uh, stabilized yet. So I've gone for 70 seconds and I'll just continue again for good measure um, to go for, um, go for a couple of minutes. Okay, and uh, what do you think we're going to get? Any guesses on the temperature that will result once, once we finish swinging? We've gone a minute and a half. And uh, let's just go for another 20 seconds or so. Okay, so again, the cost of this thing is just a couple bucks at your local hardware store. You know, any thermometer that you can attach and swing like this We'll do the trick and let's see what we get here. Okay, so we're coming up to two minutes and uh, we have a temperature of 70 or about 21, 21 degrees. Okay, 70 Fahrenheit, 21 degrees. Now, lo and behold, this is the wet bulb temperature. And this agrees very, very closely with the $40 device uh, here and with the $165 device. So this gives you the wet bulb temperature. So basically all you need is a thermometer like this and, and you follow the technique which I've shown you and you can determine the wet bulb temperature, no guesswork involved. And um, you know, if this wet bulb temperature is 31 or 32 degrees, you need to pre take precautions because your, your life is, is threatened, your health is threatened by, by the heat. Okay, so very, very simple device. Now there is something, there are tables um, which allow you to convert um, this number, the, root, the, the exterior temperature plus this number. Those, with the, those two data points, you can go on a curve and you can get the, percentage, the humidity percentage. Okay, and what's this say, what this is saying is that at this particular, because I've swung it and it's wet, this is the wet bulb temperature. So the, you know, this would be the temperature with 100% with, uh, uh, humidity if you just lowered the existing temperature with the given amount of water moisture, moisture in the air. Okay, so water vapor in the air. So anyway, I hope I've explained what's going on. Um, it's very vital that you uh, pay attention to the wet bulb temperature. Um, when you're out in the heat and uh, you take precautions, drink lots of water, stay hydrated, 
Um, your exercising is going to be very strenuous and, and stressful on your body, and your core, you're in danger of your core body temperature rising. Um, so, uh, yeah, thank you uh, for, for, for listening, and uh, please uh, share this video far and wide, because the, the problem with uh, heat is it's a silent killer. The American Medical Association just uh, published a report uh, yesterday, I believe, uh, saying that the number of deaths from heat in the U.S. is much, much higher than, than, than people thought. Then they're, they're not counting properly, right? If, if somebody overheats and has a heart attack, the death is due to a heart attack. They, they overheat, uh, they have a stroke, the death is due to a stroke, or, you know, underlying conditions, obesity uh, lowers your threshold, um, drugs, me medications you're on lowers your threshold. Right? There's lots of different factors. The very young are at high risk, especially toddlers. They're not able to sweat, so their faces, their heads turn bright red uh, to try to radiate heat away. And older people with lower uh, metabolic rates are also at severe risk uh, from, from heat compared to, uh, you know, healthy, young, um, he healthy sort of, you know, fit, um, middle of life uh, people. So there's lots of, of different variation on human tolerance to, to heat, uh, but we're all, you know, the way our bodies are built, uh, we're all susceptible to, uh, to problems with heat when we get that wet bulb temperature of about 31, 32, and, and uh, you know, that would be 100% humidity. Um, and I just want to point out that, um, you know, there's ongoing heat waves around the world. Australia is notable right now, massive heat waves, and they're, they're in their winter, actually. Um, and uh, also, um, Texas is undergoing a huge heat wave again. Um, and um, yeah, there's, there's other places around the world. Um, the Persian Gulf um, is, I, I heard that parts of the Persian Gulf along the coastline, the seawater is uh, about 36 degrees Celsius. So, so the uh, evaporation will be very high from that water. So anybody living on the coastline being outside for any length of time is under grave risk of heat of death from heat and I'm sure that people are dying today um, you know look at the morgue statistics of places uh, next to on the coastlines next to that water and people I'm sure are succumbing to that that type of uh, heat because the wet bulb temperatures exceed human tolerance so thanks again for listening and um, yeah uh, you know take care when, when it's extremely hot and extremely humid thanks again and bye for now